Hey guys, welcome to the Foundation Group. My name is John Park and today we're going to be covering silhouettes. My main objective for doing these types of exercises is I want to be able to see or identify what the silhouette looks like. Basically, what does the outer part of the shape looks like for this character. So my eye is really focused on kind of the outside shape or structure for this character. All the way from the head to the shoulders, down to the arms, all the way down to the legs. So we're going to start off by thinking about three basic primitive shapes. And those basic primitive shapes are circle, triangle, last but not least, a square. Now you guys might be wondering what's with the the geometric shapes, you know, and how does that apply to our designs? Well actually a lot of it applies to, you know, the way we think about shapes, the way we think about design, and the way we think about aesthetics, right? And if I think about the circle, a circle, a circle represents so many things. It represents that it's not only round, but it's soft, you know, it's very, it's continuous, it's infinite. It always goes around and it can roll and there's all these things that we can, we can think about when we, when we look at a circular object. When we look at a triangle, a triangle is generally very sharp, right? It always comes to a point. So you can imagine that, you know, when we're designing and we want something to look very aggressive, I'm most likely going to utilize a triangle to convey that kind of design language. A square, however, is something that's very stable. You know that a square if it lays flat on a table, it's not going to move, right? So it's very stable, it's very structured, and has a lot of stability. So when we think about our designs, we can think about a really stable design by utilizing the square motif. What I'm going to aim to do is I'm actually going to try to replicate this character, or something like this, using a circle. Now when thinking about a circle, there's so many shapes that come to mind, right? Um, it's not only the circle, but it's the way we use a circle. It's the way I draw the circle or the way I interpret the shape. I can think about it in terms of a full size, a half size, right? I do apologize if this is really small, guys. Um, I'll try to zoom in here so you can see. You know, a portion of the size, you know, kind of gives us a little bit of a pie cut, so to speak. But when I'm actually thinking about the silhouette here, I'm thinking about, so if I have the character, and let's say the basic armor, so to speak, and the arms coming down. Here's my ground plane. When I think about just the overall structure of this character, and I think about these shapes, I think about, okay, well, what if the armor was very circular? All right. So what if I had a circular circle here and I'm just drawing on top of it. I'm being as rough as I can and I'm adding or padding on these shapes onto the character like their armor bits. And I'm thinking about anything and everything that's going to represent kind of this round, you know, really curvature kind of design language that's going to be very reminiscent of a circle, right? The head I'm going to keep because I feel like the head is already round. But the bottom here, I can kind of flare out and add a little bit more of the circular kind of language here. Let's do more of like a boar-like creature, right? Um, and keep in mind, I'm just kind of using a rough photo reference here. Um, I'm thinking you know, boar has more of like a larger head-like structure, nose, some horn, got the body here, got the legs, the front leg, 
and I got the back leg. Let's go ahead and draw on the ground plane here. And I'm gonna just, I always like putting in the front leg, in the back leg, in the front leg back, and the back leg front, forward. Just cause it kinda gives like a nice little, a nice little kind of walking, and it's not so stiff. Let's just go ahead and fill that in. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly fill it in like that. Now, if you guys, if you guys are comfortable to where you want to just do the silhouettes using a marker, you may do so. Okay. Um, I'm just showing you guys, you know, the whole concept of using a pen, then filling in, filling it in with it, with the, with the marker, just as a as a way to kind of just plan out your ideas, plan out your your structure, uh, roughly, then filling it in because, you know, once you once you kind of get used to the idea of just generating your own silhouette, you're already thinking about kind of the lines and some of the internal lines, um, but. For those of you that are, that are starting out, definitely start it with a pen, and it'll just kind of help, kind of help with the stepping stone of that. Okay. All right. Well, that concludes the demos, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Um, I will be sure to upload all of these JPEGs and notes, um, and my co-teacher will be explaining the homework bit and be reviewing all of this stuff with you guys. And I hope you guys have fun. Feel free to ask any questions. And I'll see you guys in the next demo. Thank you.